Hey, welcome to Salon Girl Gardens today. I am at Martha's Iris Garden in Anna, Texas, where all the irises are in full bloom. So I thought I'd take you on this little field trip and show you her place. It's absolutely amazing. With social distancing, she's asked to stay out of this video, so I can't really ask her questions, but she's a great lady who has maintained this iris garden for 40 plus years. So let me take you around. She has names on all of the cultivars and it's really cool. You can jot down what you'd like and then in the fall she will dig them and you pick them up. And you saw in my last, one of my last videos, uh, the irises that I picked up here three years ago and they're just stunning in my garden. So I thought I'd show you what's happening here. So we'll start with the mini irises. Did you know that there's Petit irises. These little guys are about 14 inches tall. So if you're limited on space, this is a great option for your garden. This one is carved pumpkin. And they're just so little and petite. This is called touch of frost. And then here we have Lady Lee. Isn't she gorgeous? So I'm gonna quickly go through here and excuse the, the loud construction work in the background. They're building homes right across the street. Look at this sweet little, it, this is only about 12 inches tall. Iwa Pottles. So I'll stop and show you as many as I can that are in full bloom and give you the name. So this is gonna be a little bit longer video than uh, what you're used to coming from Salon Girl Gardens. Normally I shoot for about five minute videos, but this one will take just a bit longer. Look at this glorious one. This is called Boundless. Look at that. Oh, she's gorgeous. So this is a very, very tall iris. Look how, look how big and robust that is. That surely would make a statement in, in the garden. And I simply adore the roughly, roughly petals on this one. And this is called Mont Martre. Here we've got Brimstone and Megabucks and Mamel. This is Rasputin. And do you guys deal with fire ants where you are? In Texas, we get huge fire ant mounds, just humongous. This is an interesting one. Tennessee Gentleman. Oh, this is a fun name. It's not in full bloom yet, but I'm so confused. Looks like it's gonna be a gorgeous blue. This one is called Hollywood Lights. And Aztec art. Just love the names of these little guys. This is called Vegas Bandit. It seems to be a mid sized light pink iris. That's going to be spectacular. It's called All Smiles. This is called Accessorized. And it's clear white with little blue highlights emerges a very very light blue this is called wake water beyond borders peggy sue
this is called explicit Rosalie Figuet. This is LaRue Boswell. This little guy is called Distant Roads. He's, he's a little one. I give so much credit to Martha. She's, I think, 90, and she maintains this all herself. Here, here's the wake water again. You can see it from this side in mass. It's so pretty. Star Woman, another petite iris. Ginger. Dark Drama. Oh, this is a gorgeous one. Look at that. And that is Cross Current. This is just landscape. No, this is Raspberry Fudge. Raspberry Fudge. Another teeny tiny little iris. This has only got to be 10 inches tall, if that. Look at that. Itty bitty. And this is called Cara Noel. This is a fair, about 14 inches tall. This is Cowabunga. Cowabunga. That sensation. This is called Pagan. Look at that. Look at those tones. This one is called Lord Jeff, and it's a tall one. This is called Devil David. This mid-size iris, multiple flowers on each stem, is called His Royal Highness, and it's a perfect royal blue. This is called John. <laughs> this is called Dr. No. Dr. No. This one is called Fancy Dress. This one is Devil's Lake. This perfect white one is called Tufted Clouds, and it's a very, very tall iris. I can't seem to, oh, yes. This one is called, this one is called Sky and Sun. This one is called Cross Current. Look at how pretty that is. Stunning. Oh, this is an interesting one. It's called Splat. Look at that. How different is that one? Like it has been splatted with color. So the deal is you come out here and you make note of the name and you pay her. And then in the fall, she will come dig them up and you will plant them. Um, in my garden, it took, a, it took a while to get all the multiple blooms that I have. Uh, achy breaky heart. It took about three years for the blooms to reach their full glory. And that's okay. 
A lot of these still aren't in full bloom, but a lot of them are. So I'm really glad to be able to show you all this today. Now look at this. What a stunning stand of iris here. And I'm not sure which is the name for this. It's either, it's either different flavors or it's Ask Alma. But it's a little mini petite peach iris. This one is called Again and Again. So beautiful. And then coming up on the last row. We've got Tanzanian Tangerine. This is called Snapshot. Oh, this is an interesting one. It's called Easy Bean Green and it's a yellow with green tinge to it with yellow in the middle. This is summer sunburst and it's almost a neon yellow and it's a teeny tiny little one probably again about 12 inches tall. It's really really small. This is gentle woman Another mid-sized blush of pink. I can't see a name on this one, but it's gorgeous. Look at that. This is called Champagne Elegance. Just amazing. Martha is such a kind, gracious, gracious woman, gardener. Loves to talk about the irises if you come out here. She's so knowledgeable. She's head of the Iris Society um, in the area. And she's just a really neat woman. But with the social distancing, she, she has asked to, you know, stay clear. So this is called Boysenberry Buttercup. And look at that. If you're looking for dramatic, look at that. It's a very tall iris. Isn't that so pretty? This one, this one is called Frequent Flyer. And it is teeny tiny too. This one is Carefree Days. This one is True Spirit. This is called Hand Painted. This one's almost purple black called Dark Wonder. And it's a tiny iris as well, about 14 inches. This one is called Superhero. And this one is called Daring Deception. And finally, this is called Doo-Wop Memories. Doo-Wop Memories. Interesting color. Interesting coloration on this one. So this is Martha's Iris Garden. And just to give you a scope, 
And remember, not all of them are in full bloom. Some iris bloom really early, mid-season, late season. But isn't this spectacular? And again, I'm in awe of this woman hand weeding this herself. I mean, that's dedication and taking care of this for 40 years. Uh, she's got a lot more iris scattered all around the property, but this is the bulk of the irises. You can see in the distance, those irises just left to their own devices in the weeds. So thank you for joining me today at Salon Girl Gardens. I hope you enjoyed this quick little walk through of Martha's Iris Garden in Anna, Texas. And also really quick, I thought I'd show you uh, some more that are blooming that I got from Martha's Iris Garden. Isn't that gorgeous? I also had <laughs> what I call my ghetto iris because um, I just dug them up from an abandoned house. So I don't know the names. And these iris came from my mom's house. guys I'm super happy to have them and I do not know the names of these either but they're gorgeous so thanks for coming on this iris shopping tour with me you now have the names of those gorgeous iris go online you can purchase them for yourself and get them in your garden today thanks so much for joining me at salon girl gardens and I'll see you on the next one bye